Welcome to another Seattle Diaries. As you can see, I now have a sofa, or rather a futon, which I purchased from someone who lives in my building, so it was really, really easy to move it just a few floors down. This was like the last big piece of furniture that I needed for my apartment, apart from maybe a coffee table, actually, now that I think about it. But it's nice to just have another form of seating here and a place to watch movies and to look outside at the beautiful cityscape and drink my coffee in the morning. I also find it a bit funny that this is an Ikea futon, which is the exact same one that I owned when I was in my senior year of undergrad in college, except I had the blue version and my mom actually owns this one in the black too, which is in her loft space. So yeah, this futon just follows me around now. And I have a call in about half an hour with my friend Brie, who you all might know from YouTube. Um, so yeah, I think I will check in with you all in a bit. guys i have such an exciting thing to show you today so earlier this week this arrived in the mail and this is my very first suit i have never had like a full matching suit before and it just it's so exciting for me to like be working at this new job and to have been incorporating more tailoring into my personal style and to my like workwear everyday kind of outfits and now to have like a full matching suit is just, I feel like I have my life together. Like I feel like a real adult moment. And also just to say like my mom loves tailoring. She loves a beautiful suit and she actually did help me pick this one out. So thank you mom, if you're watching this. But yeah, this is from M.M. Lafleur, which you might be familiar with. I actually do have one of their blazers in a lovely shark skin color. So like a gray, boxy, double-breasted blazer that is just chef's kiss. It's so nice. The quality is so nice and it just fits so well. It fits like a glove. So they very kindly reached out to send me um, some more pieces and I decided it was time for me to pop my suit cherry and you know, just boss up. Now, will I be wearing this to a board meeting? Who knows, not anytime soon, but I actually, I think it's a good thing to have in general. And I actually really love the idea of wearing a suit as like a uh, formal wear too. So like maybe to a wedding or like an evening event or something. I don't know. I have events occasionally that I have to go to that are a bit more formal. So it could happen. It's not out of the realm of possibility. I wanted to show you this though because they have several beautiful suits on their site and they are an investment because, you know, it's a suit. <laughs> you literally wear it for decades. Like my mom's closet is filled with suits that are she's had for so long and if you buy them in really classic cuts then they last you for decades which is amazing. They have like varying styles too which I really like. So they have like longer flared legs, wide leg style pants and then they have what I think of as more maybe like contemporary but not super trendy suit which would be like just a fitted slim pant. But of course, you know, I love a wide leg. So this is the Horton 1.0 pant in a washable wool twill. It feels more like, not wool. It doesn't feel like a heavy wool knit, so this is very good for year round. I got mine in black. This comes in a few other colors. And it's kind of like slim and slightly high-waisted at the top and then has a nice flared leg. And the star of the show, of course, is the blazer, which I feel like it really takes a while to like get blazers right. So this was not the first one I ordered. It was uh, luckily I got the fit right in two tries. Um, but I do think it's really important to like try it on um, and even like have like a fit consultant sort of help you out with that because if you're not used to buying suits or tailored pieces in general, it can be hard to know what to look for. Um, luckily, like I said, I have my mom to consult with, so she really helped me with the fit. Um, and then the sizing 
at least for me, for MM Love Flare is usually pretty spot on. Now, this is the Yeon 1.0 blazer in a washable wool twill in black. I went with a size 4, but I think it's pretty close to being a good fit for me. But anyways, let me try this on instead of talking. <laughs> So that is the latest addition to my wardrobe, which I am so excited about. I feel very grown up. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the new suit. And I, of course, will link the details down in the description box. So I don't know if anyone actually enjoys seeing these, but I really enjoy filming them. So I'm going to keep doing it. But it is an unboxing of my weekly farm box delivery from Salmonberry Goods. If you're in Seattle, highly recommend. They're wonderful. They're also at the Ballard Farmer's Market with their like baked goods and things. Um, yeah, I really like getting these farm boxes because I am not a very ambitious cook during the week, but I like to eat healthy. I like to have enough like vegetables and I also hate grocery shopping like with a passion. I hate grocery stores so much. Anyways, so this seems like the perfect sort of solution for me because I know that I'll always be getting like delicious local seasonal foods and it also makes me more creative when I'm cooking during the week. I didn't include my kombucha. So I've been getting these whole wheat loaves. They always come with these sprouts which are like, oh they're grown in Ballard, that's pretty cool. They're like, I think, I don't know what kind of sprouts they are actually but they're pretty large sprouts. This looks like little broccolini type things. Oh no no, this is actually flowering kale. Um, what is this? I just read the little description of that even I think these are colored or, mm, I'm not sure. These ones remind me of like Easter though, the bunnies. More leeks, one apple. It always kind of cracks me up that there's just like one apple in here, but I'm not the biggest fan of apples, although I will say that Washington apples are pretty next level. What is this? A beet. And the best part, the pastry. I love these little things that they do. Mmm. Looks like a blueberry scone. Mmm. Blueberry. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to make with all of these this week, which will probably be some kind of stir fry with a grain. Last week I also made a really delicious veggie stew. It actually had salmon in it too. That's another option. Yummy! Washington cider is like so delicious, but I just found out about this place called Locust. And they have like peach and pear flavors, and I love peach flavored anything, so of course I had to get the juicy peach. And it was so tasty. Very sweet though. All the ciders that I've tried here have been super sweet. I just found out you can do grocery delivery from this wonderful Japanese market here and so excited. I'm going to show you what I got. First thing is not Japanese. More of these because they're delicious. They're kind of like Cheeto puffs but made out of chickpeas. Ramen for when I'm feeling very lazy. These little Japanese cracker things. They You can get them spicy but I like the mild one. Chocolate for when I'm hormonal or Easter. Whichever comes first. And I'm so excited for this. Kiwi mayo! How cute is this little one? Soy sauce because I don't have any yet. Japanese short grain rice, a necessity. Giant unsweetened green tea, bigger than my head. For dinner today, so inari, futamaki, and some California rolls. Well, it's afternoon now and I really need to get started on editing. Um, I'm going to sign off of this vlog here and also mention that next week's video is going to be super exciting and I can't wait to share it with you all. My call earlier today was actually to go over last minute planning details with Brie for Parisian style 10 by 10 challenge, which is coming back for the fifth time um, for the spring. So this will be the fifth time that we're doing it, which is really exciting. So I'll be announcing it over on Instagram on Tuesday. And then, of course, the video will be up next weekend. But yeah, keep an eye out for that. And thank you all so much for watching this vlog. And I'll see you soon.